testing is so exhaustive, it can take two years for each new design. The cold start test is a very important test. We need to be able to start the engine under cold conditions. Cold is minus 40 degrees. Removed from its giant freezer, everything must still work perfectly when the engine is started. We have to make sure that the gearbox will turn when we start the engine. Other tests, so water ingestion. Water is poured in at 30,000 gallons an hour, but there must be no loss of thrust. We have to demonstrate that the engine can cope with rain and hail ingestion and that the compressors can cope with the amount of water going through the engine that it might get in flight and that the compressors continue to run and that the combustion system remains stable. But one of the key safety requirements we have to ensure we meet is that in the unlikely event of the release of a fan blade, that it's contained by the fan case. Well, it's an absolutely key test in that we need to make sure that there's no chance of the fan blade escaping. On the test, there's an explosive detonation which releases the blade from the disc at max takeoff speed and fires it into the fan case. When this event happens, the energy that's generated by the blade coming off is about the equivalent of a one-ton car being dropped off a 200-foot cliff. And the casing here then has to retain that and ensure that nothing is released outside of the fan case structure. So it's a hugely expensive test. But our commitment to safety and demonstrator requires us to take that asset and to complete that test, irrespective of what we're left with in the end. The engine is destroyed. Although it's contained the blade and, and run down safely, uh, the, the components that are in that engine will not be used again. Effectively, that, that engine is then uh, written off. Only by sacrificing an entire engine like this can they be sure the fan case really does its job.